Hi, uh, Old Guy Adventures here, and today I came down by Oakville, in between Oakville and an area called Brooklyn. I'm on the Brooklyn Road, and I'm looking for fossils. And right here, in this road cut, this is the Brooklyn Road. It, down there it's paved and it turns into uh, gravel. And out that, will, that way is Brooklyn. That way, Oakville. But right here, there's fossils coming out of this hillside. And you can find snail shells, clam shells. And if you can find some concretions up in here, there's a possibility of finding crabs. Um, I don't know if I'll find any crabs. I did think I saw a concretion way up there, but I can't get to it. But what you got to do is break some of this rock. And as you can see, you can see the white in here. This is all shell fragments. You know, in here, that's a little, probably a clam. Who knows what that is. But, and here's a, there's a little snail shell. I'm going to keep this one. And, uh, yeah, and you can, oh, this is real muddy stuff, too. Um. But I'm going to get up there and hopefully I can find a, uh, a crab. But this place gets picked over pretty good. But if you want to dig in there, you'll probably find a, a concretion. And I saw several spots along the road here that had this type of material. So there's probably other places along here. Well, actually, in the Willapaw area, all the way from Elma out to... Out towards Raymond and stuff you can find fossils so well I'm gonna get to it and see what I find I got this little guy and I'll see if I can find some more all right there you can see there was a concretion right here and yeah, that's, a, that's about how big it is so yeah, in here someplace, I should be able to find some, hopefully, and uh, hopefully I'll get a crab out of it, or something else, but I'm going to try. Okay, right here I have a, a concretion right here. It's pretty small. I don't know if there will really be anything in it, but I will take it home. Um, yeah, it's a clamshell there. A lot of this stuff is real small pieces. But, um, yeah, I was up there. I don't like being up there. You get that overhang and stuff. I'm just not really interested in that. Especially when it's been raining and probably it's probably already froze up here. So some of that can be loose. But I'll get this one out and... It looks like there must have been another one here someplace, but yeah, yeah, I'll take this out. I'll work my way back down that way, and then I'm going to head on to Brooklyn down in there. I know along the Willapaw River you can find Chalcedony clams and stuff if the river's not too high and I can get on a gravel bar. I'll take a look. Yeah, I'm going to check all this out and see what I find. Well, I'm going to move on from here. Um, I got a few pieces down here that I'm going to take. I got my little clam, a couple of snails, and one of these things. And then I got this concretion here. Most of what I see in here, the shell got smashed, you know, and um, so it's just kind of spread out thin pieces. And uh, I'm not really finding whole pieces. So I'll, I'll head on down the road and see what else I can find. Well, that's going to be interesting right up there. But I'm not going to go up there to get it. Alright, well, I'm going to head on and take my stuff and head on out. Well, there we are. Beautiful day. 
I'm coming down onto the beach here on the Straits of Juan de Fuca and um, today we'll be looking for some fossils. This area is known for fossils so I'm gonna come down here. I went to a different fossil area in the Willapaw Hills. I didn't do all that well so I thought well I come out here because I know out in here it's pretty good. But, um, but this is it. That's the Straits of Wanda Fuca out there. And I'm just coming up onto the beach. Oh, that little bridge was slippery. And uh, uh, across the Straits there you can see land back over there. That's Canada. And out that way, out there, that's towards the ocean. But we'll get down here and okay, we'll see. It's early morning. Uh, the tide is probably just about slacker coming back in. So who knows how long I'll be able to stay out here. Oh, there's a duck right there. Beautiful morning though. Yeah, a lot of kelp on the seabed but yeah although I want to see if I can work my way over to there that's probably where I'll do my best and there are agates and jasper on the beaches here I might find but I'm more looking for um, fossils So, I guess I'm going to get to it. See if I can get down there. I hadn't walked too much farther and this is definitely a fossil. Looks to be a vertebrae or something. I'm not real sure. But otherwise, it was big. I'm going to keep this. Put it in my backpack and go along. Yeah. It's already working out like this here. That's nothing there. Yeah, I'll see if I can get around this. Well, I found this fossil here. I can't really tell what it is. So I think I'll just leave it. I'll put it down here and maybe somebody else will find it and might like it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll continue along through here. Hopefully I'll be able to get back out of here. And watch this tide. Otherwise I'll be stuck here for a few hours. Yeah, I think I can get there. If not, I'll be rock hounding the beach back the other way, I guess. Well, this is the formation I was hoping to get to. As you can see, there are things in here. Who knows what that is? There's something there. Something there. There's some concretions. There's some right there. So I'll try to get a few of these. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because I have to get around right back down there. And if that tide comes in, I won't be able to get out of here. So I'm going to get busy and see what I can find. Well, I left that area down there. That water's coming up right in there so I had to time it to get around there what what a beautiful day to be on the straits I'll go down the beach down this other way and see if I can find anything but that back there that's where most uh, 
fossils were coming from. But down, oh, looks like even farther down that way there's some cliffs, so maybe I can get to those too. We'll try it. You look on this. I'm not really sure what those are. It could be some sort of worm that makes these holes in the rocks, but I'm not sure. I'll set it up here on this log over here. Maybe somebody might like it. There are quite a few nodules that, um, that you find, but you break them open and all the shells been smashed, so you don't really, it's undefined as to what it is. But, um, yeah, this I'll put up there on the shelf. It looks interesting. Well, you can tell the tide changed. The waves are getting bigger that are coming in, breaking on the shoreline. So I got to get back. There's a little stream back here. I got to make sure I get back across it. But, yeah. Yeah, when the tide changes here and starts coming in, these uh, waves, they can get pretty good sized in here. Beautiful day out there, though. Right now, it'd be nice to be on out there in a boat. Later, though, if you have a tendency to get seasick, you, know, you don't want to be out there. Yeah, I'll check this little bar out over here, and then I'll probably get on out of here. I got that one nice trying to that vertebrae, so I'm happy. And I'll come back to this spot again. I think I was on, I think it was out that way farther. It was actually my first rock hounding trip that I went, you know, a true rock hounding trip. And uh, we went out here getting fossils. There were lots of snail fossils, clam fossils. That was back, oh heck, 1973, I think, right around in there. So that's been a while ago, so I haven't been out here in a long time. But, yeah, when uh, we get a real good low tide, I'll probably come back out here and work that whole cliff face back over there. I'm sure there's some good stuff in there. Well, hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. It's always nice to get out and here it is winter time so we don't have all that much can't get up in the mountains because it's full of snow the rivers they're full of water because it's been raining and the snow's been melting here lately so well I'll check this out um, got this little stream here I got across and then I'll head back home. Okay, now these pieces here, this one here, a little concretion. I didn't break it. I don't think I need to bother. But this here, that's just the little snail shell. And that's a little shell thing there I left in the matrix. It had some others on the back side here. This one here had a little snail shell, kind of busted open. And then there was a little clamshell on this bigger piece. There might be something more in there, but I'm not going to break it. Well, these pieces here I found in the Willapaw Hills. It was probably over 500 feet in elevation there. It was on the Brooklyn Road. There's a spot there where you can dig. It's been well picked over. And um, most of the stuff I saw there, all the shell had pretty much been busted up over, you know, the years of it being there so they were probably smashed when they were into the formation and some though do make it so you can find stuff there but you're going to pick through it now this is the other stuff this here's a mammal i'm sure that's a mammal vertebrae i don't know to which one but it's a good sized thing this here it's a fossil and yeah, we'll just leave that up to whoever wants to comment on it. Now, this one here I broke open, and inside of it, there is a fossil. 
but it's so small that you can't really see what it is. But now these here, um, sometimes they have crab fossils in there, so that's why you you get them. See if you can get a nice crab. I've seen some really nice crab fossils come out of them, but just not this one. That one there, I looked at it with my um, magnifier, and I still couldn't tell what it was. This one here, I don't think there was really anything in it. So I'm not going to go any more on that. But uh, out there on the straits, I'll definitely go there again. That's uh, I'm going to see when the next really low tide is. You know, as long as it's in the day. This time of year, most low tides are in the middle of the night. And not a wise idea to be out there along the straits in the middle of the night. But... Um, yeah, next one I'll probably get back out there and because I saw quite a bit of stuff in that hillside and I'd like to do some digging around in there. At least have a couple hours. That'd be nice. But well, that was the trip getting some fossils and uh, I had a good time. Beautiful views out there and anytime you're out, it's great. So, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.